one for you. I like the way that sounds. I'm about to do it for you. I like to break it down. This joint has got me open. Ooh, that's my favorite song. I put my thing in motion. I do it all night long. So I said so I was going to start doing the diary vlogs again. And... I'm actually kind of happy that I am because it's today is just one of those days and I'm just not having a very good day. Um, excuse my room. Like, my room has just been a mess. Everything has been a mess. My arm and everything has been sore. Um, I just been going through a lot and if people don't know, or if you do know, um, I, um, suffer from, I suffer from, um, depression and I also have anxiety as well. And if those who don't know what those two things are, um, basically, I can only explain it from my point, but basically, um, it's just like my mind is moving at a thousand miles per hour. And the way I think is different from what others think. I think that's in all people. But for someone who has depression and anxiety, our minds tend to just go, like, towards the negative place. Which is not always a good thing. But it's always the solution for us. And... I don't know, like, I just been just mentally trying to go back to that place where I used to go. I'm about to sit in this chair. Oh. So I'm trying not to go back to those places that I used to be where I used to go and things like that. Um, because honestly, um, the way I think it's not fun to be around and how I feel is not fun to be around. Um, I'm just like mentally drained. And the problem that I'm stuck on is, like, why is it that good people always end up last? Why is it that when you do good and you live right and you do your best to live by the Bible and you do your best to not make bad decisions. You do everything you can to not fall short and you do everything that you can to stay on a positive note. Why is it that everything you ask for, everything that you want, it is a struggle for you to get? Meanwhile, there's other people out here who are doing whatever they want to do, saying whatever they want to say, and they're being blessed like left and right I don't understand and it's starting to frustrate me and it's starting to make me wonder like I know everything that I'm doing is for a reason is for my purpose yet at the same time why is it taking so long for me to gain everything that I've asked for when I've changed my whole life over completely? You know, I'm not having sex. I'm celibate. 
and I'm not celibate to marriage because to me that is a huge commitment and I know me I know who I am and I know someone like me can't commit to something that huge I can commit to something on that level maybe if it comes to a job or something that needs to be done in the church I can I can commit to that but something that has to commit far as for myself that I can't commit to and the Lord knows my heart and he understands that some people are good at whatever they have chosen for themselves and I just chosen to be celibate due to the fact that I just want a solid relationship that is going to involve into in a marriage that we just carry out God's word and it just seems like I want so to me I think that is just so little compared to people who want to have babies and travel across the world and all these like to me big huge things but for me to want a relationship that is God based. I feel that it's grand, but to me, it's just so small. And I feel like I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do. I don't go out to clubs anymore. If if it, if I do, it's just you know a birthday party or something. But I haven't been to a club, and I don't know how long. Um, it's just certain things. I just get. I just stopped doing because I really wanted to be serious. Yet, at the same time, it's like, what did I give all this up for? Because I haven't got anything that I asked for. So, now I'm just either like, you either take the chance or you sit and wait. And I'm confused. Because I have a really good heart. And again, I do everything that I can. And yet, I'm still left behind. I see, you know, college classmates and college mates, colleagues, and people just having these grand old wonderful great celebrations. And I'm just sitting here like... Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm working and I'm with God. No kids, no boyfriend, no fiance, no husband, no dog, no fish, no cat. Just me and the Lord. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying if I'm doing everything that you need me to do and you access me what is taking so long for me to get that one little simple thing that I asked for and I know that the little thing that I asked for is maybe a great big thing to him but to me it's just little I'm not asking to be married within the next six months or next two I'm just asking for a good guy that I can grow with just as a friend and hopefully it can evolve into more but I don't know anymore I don't I have no clue and frankly I'm tired Maybe I'll have an understanding tomorrow. Maybe I'll get an understanding and an explanation in a month. This is something I don't know. This is something I probably will never know. But at least I can just say that I'm doing everything that I possibly can do. And I just want what's for me. That's all I want. I just want what's for me. 
so I'm not gonna cry about it because I cry about it all the time and I hear oh don't cry about it the Lord is working on it but I feel like it's gonna come once I do this plan that I have set and that's gonna be okay too like I'm not mad about that but at the end of the day it just would be nice to have it right now but at the end of the day I'm still grateful I'm so thankful for everything else and I have to take the lemons and make lemonade I have to take the pictures thrown at me and make a home run and that's what I have to be focused on and intend to do. So this is a message to you. The world may be tough and it may seem like a long way. But at the end of the day, the Lord knows what's best for you. You just have to hold on to that and keep your faith. Keep praying and keep trusting. He's got something for you. Don't know what that is. I don't know. And your mama don't know. Or your daddy. But everything that you're doing is for a purpose. And that purpose is grand. So just keep smiling, baby girl. I love you always.